Traveling in a camper van is the best way to discover Tasmania at your own pace. Our high top camper van comes with a fully equipped kitchen, dinette and outdoor awning ready for you to start your holiday straight away. This camper van can suit up to two adults and two children making it the ideal family choice. Use the remote on the key to lock and unlock all doors on the camper van. The handbrake is located below the dash to the left side of the steering wheel, pull towards you to engage. The fuel door release is located to the lower right side of the steering wheel. Pull to open the fuel door which is located on the passenger side of the camper van. This vehicle takes unleaded fuel only. The height of this vehicle is 2.6 meters. On the inside of the rear door is a ring pull. This will allow you to open the rear door from inside the van. Mind your head and make sure you have a 2 meter clearance when opening the rear door. Make sure to take your keys with you as the ring pull will not unlock the vehicle. In the shelves at the back, you will see the hose to refill the water tank and 240 volt extension cable. The 240 volt inland socket is located above the driver's seat rear wheel. Lift the cap, plug the provided extension cable in and connect to a 15 amp site power point. This will recharge the camper van's deep cycle battery in about 4 to 5 hours. The camper van battery pack is also recharged as you drive. The solar panel on the roof also assists in recharging the home battery pack. The power points will only work when connected to power. To fill the camper van's water tank, remove the water fill cap located near the driver's door. No key is required to open as the cap remains unlocked. Just twist anti-clockwise to open. Use the hose provided to fill the tank until water overflows. The tank's capacity is 30 litres. The grey water from the sink drains from below the vehicle, near the rear on the passenger side. Use the provided bucket to collect the water and empty in an appropriate area. Use the washer on the keyring to unlock the LP gas door. Turn anti-clockwise to turn the gas on and clockwise to turn the gas off. The gas detector is located on the driver's side underneath the rear facing passenger seat. This will sound an alarm if the presence of gas is detected. If the alarm sounds, turn off all gas appliances, turn off the gas at the bottle and leave the home door open. Ensure there is no naked flame and call auto rent on the number provided. Please make sure the gas is off when travelling. The smoke detector is located on the roof near the light. The circuit breaker is either located on the back cupboard or next to the gas detector, depending on which model vehicle you have. To set up the awning, first remove the bag from the rear compartment that includes the guide ropes, hammer and pegs. Fully unzip the awning cover, release the two velcro straps within the case. With a person either side, carefully unroll the awning until about a metre from the vehicle. Pull out the two legs from within the awning bracket and place them 45 degrees to the camper van. Continue to unroll the awning fully, then unfold the two vertical legs and set them to the desired height by rotating the poles to lock them into position. Next, secure the horizontal poles into position by twisting them to lock into place and then attaching the velcro straps to hold them secure. Ensure the awning is level and taut. Attach the guide ropes from the corner of the awning rail to the pegs you have hammered into the ground. To stow away the awning, first remove the guide ropes and pegs storing them along with the hammer back within the rear luggage compartment. Loosen the horizontal poles and place at 45 degrees to the camper van. Loosen the vertical poles and reinsert them in the awning rail. Fold the awning evenly towards the vehicle and then fold in the horizontal bars into the rail below the case. Complete folding the awning into the case. Attach the velcro holding straps and place above the cabin. In the side doorway there is a storage hatch which contains the pole for the dinette table. Place the pole in the hole in the floor and place the table on top of this. The tabletop is stored against the wall in the dinette area. Beneath the two rear seats is the storage space and here is where you will find the two boards that help make up the double bed. To make the bed, first disassemble the table and move the front seats forward. Then stand in front of the dinette bench seat and then slide the seat top towards you. Make sure the rear of the bed base is mounted securely to the dinette bench. Place the two boards on top of the rails of the two rear seats. Now use the seat cushions to form the double mattress. If the overhead bed is required, an additional mattress can be provided. First, move the boards that form the base of the bed into position and cover with the mattress. Take care when getting up and down from the bedding area. The weight limit for the above bed is 90 kilos in total. 
Open all cupboards to familiarize yourself with the contents and make sure they are all locked before traveling. The fridge can be set to the desired temperature by the control on the top right of the fridge unit. The fridge is opened by the vertical latch on the top left hand side. The TV can be turned on by the remote control which is located on the top ledge at the rear of the camper van, where you will also find the adjustable aerial or panel depending on which one you have been provided. The plug-in electric heater is located in the wardrobe. Take care and place in a stable position. If you're using it for an extended period, open a window slightly. To use the gas cooker and griller, first turn on the gas at the LP gas bottle. Open both lids and turn the required knob anti-clockwise and push the knob inwards. Use the provided lighter to ignite. Open a window for ventilation when cooking. The switch for the water pump is either located on the driver's side underneath the rear-facing passenger seat or above the forward-facing back seat, depending on which model vehicle you have. Turn this on when using the tap in the kitchen sink. Be aware of your vehicle's clearance height and length. Take extra care when parking or turning off the main road. During windy conditions, we recommend that you reduce your speed on all roads as taller vehicles are susceptible to side winds. Please travel slowly when approaching corners or traveling downhill. On the return of your vehicle, ensure the interior is in a clean and tidy state. All linen placed in a plastic bag and please wash your dishes. Smoking and pets are not permitted within our vehicles. Tasmania has many nocturnal animals. When traveling at night, we recommend traveling at lower speeds. 